Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to create some moody text. I call it moody text because the colors, the drop shadows, the strokes, and other attributes contribute to the mood of the word. If you look over here in the layers panel you can see that the word happy has a stroke, a gradient overlay, and a drop shadow. If we look at spooky it has even more. Bevel and emboss, stroke, inner glow, gradient overlay, and drop shadow. Let's look at some of those things. To create your project, go to File, New, or click the Create New button. And I'm going to choose Web, Most Common, and for the title, I'll call it Moody Text. And I'm going to unclick this checkbox here where it says Artboard and then click Create. Here's my blank document. Down here towards the bottom of the toolbox is the Type tool. It's a big letter T. So I'll click that to select it and then I'll click up here in the upper part of my document where I'm going to type my first word. And you can see that some um, placeholder text has automatically been placed in there. So I'm going to write my word. I'm going to do um, sweet. I'm choosing to do all capitals, but you don't have to do all capitals. And I am going to go ahead and switch to the move tool and drag this down a bit so it's on the canvas. Now I'll go back to the text tool and click and drag over my word so that it's selected. So there's two different ways to access um, features of text. One way is this menu across the top. So here's um, different types of fonts. Then here is the size of the font. And you can also access that over here in the properties panel. So here is also the name of the font and the color and the size. So I'll go ahead and use um, this one. And I just need to look through these and find a font that I think uh, looks sweet to me. So um, how about that one? That's curls MT and you might not have the same fonts on your computer every computer has different fonts and I don't think orange is a particularly sweet color so I'm gonna click that and I will make it how about that color and click OK now that I have the my my size my font style and the color chosen. Oh, by the way, if you need to change the size, it's right here. So this list goes to 72. And if you need a bigger size than that, you can just highlight this and um, start guessing, guessing a number and um, change it until you get the right one. Now that I have my text all arranged, I am going to click on the check mark, which I can't see. Oh, there it is and that makes my changes. Now comes the fun part, adding all the neat effects. So here in the layers panel, down at the bottom, you'll see the FX button. So go ahead and click that. And let's start with a stroke. So when I click stroke, this box opens up. So sometimes you have to actually click on the word stroke and it gives you more options over here. So I think that six is too large. Let's try three, that's better. And I don't like the black, so I'm going to change that. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think purple. Um, kind of a medium purple color looks nice, so I'll click OK. Let's see, what else would I like to add to this? Um, how about a drop shadow? Here's drop shadow, so I'll go ahead and click that. And I'll click on the word drop shadow to change this to the drop shadow um, options. You can see that 
the shadow is kind of uh, far away, I'm going to click and drag on it so it's a little bit closer. Um, the other option besides clicking and dragging, you can move this little um, dial around to um, affect the changes too. Um, I'm going to change the color of the drop shadow. Let's see, how about a dark a dark blue color for the for the drop shadow and I'll click OK and I think that looks pretty good so I'm gonna click OK and that that looks pretty sweet to me so let's move on to the second word so I'm going to click down here in the bottom part now your word could be um, the opposite of your first word but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to do cute. Now I'm going to highlight the letters and go over here to my font choices and choose a font. Yeah, that one looks kind of cute. Bauhaus. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Bauhaus. So again, you might not have that font on your computer. And for the color, let's go with this blue color here. Alright, now that I have my basic options selected, I'll go ahead and click the check mark. There we go. Now I'm going to add the effects. So I'll click down here on the FX button and I'll start off with a simple stroke. So I want the stroke for this one to be a little bit larger. I'll maybe make it six. Let me move this down. And I'll change the color of it to maybe um, a little bit of a medium blue color there. And click OK on that. Let's see, what else would I like to add? So now is where you get to experiment and, and start just clicking all of these um, check boxes and moving all of the controls and see what happens. I'm going to do bevel and emboss. I'll click the word bevel and emboss so I get my options over here. I will do emboss and start making the size larger and the depth more and you can see it starts making it look kind of three-dimensional. I'm going to click soften a little bit and you know what the color is is black what happens if I change that so let's try um, a purplish color that looks interesting what else should I add let's see how about another uh, drop shadow and this drop shadow is kind of a purple color. That looks great. I will also try, how about, um, how about an inner glow? Let's see what happens. Well, that doesn't make much of a difference. Let's try inner shadow. Let me change the color of it to maybe kind of a dark blue color. I see what's happening. Okay, well, I do think that that looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that, so I'm going to click OK. So, um, as you could see, there are so many options, so please try them all out. Have fun playing around with that, and when you um, get your final project, save that and turn it in. That's it for this video.